Hi guys, this is Parker from TestProbeChampions.com and I'm back at you now with another GED Math Practice Problem of the Day. This one is Subtraction with Fractions, so I want you to pause the video and try this out on your own, then we'll go over it. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this out on your own. For those of you who watch my videos, you'll recognize this problem because I did a similar one the other day. It was exactly the same, except it was with addition, but this one is Subtraction. So, the strategy is largely the same, so you want to start off by doing a simplification here. And so, we've got... 10 over 20. Hopefully you recognize that 10 is half 20. And you can also, you can just think of it as taking a zero off of the top number and a zero off of the bottom number. So we simplify that down to half. And then we can simplify this as well. So let's divide the top number and the bottom number by three. That would give us one over 10. So we can rewrite this problem over here, which I'm gonna draw an arrow to show that I'm rewriting it as one over two minus one over 10. And so whenever you do addition or subtraction with fractions, you always want to make sure you've got a common denominator. You need that common denominator, and the denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. The top number is your numerator. So how do we get a common denominator here? Well, if we multiply both the top bottom, the top number and the bottom number of this fraction by 5, then we'll be able to rewrite this problem as 5 over 10 minus 1 over 10. And if you multiply the bottom number here by by 5, you've got to do it to the top number as well. And so that's why I did, I multiplied the 1 by 5 also. So we're now left with 5 over 10 minus 1 over 10, and that is equal to 4 over 10. So whenever you do subtraction, when you've got the common denominators, you just take the numerators and subtract them. So 5 minus 1 is 4, and then you just leave the denominator the same. You don't try to do 10 minus 10. That's good. That would be an error because you would get 0 when you can never divide by 0 in math. If you don't believe me, try to divide something in your calculator by 0, and it'll tell you it's an error. Um, but we can simplify this even further here. So now let's divide both of these numbers here by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so we've got two-fifths, which is our answer. So this problem came right out of my champion's guide to GED Math. You can get the 50-problem sample down below. It's going to have this problem and others. It'll give you all kinds of written solutions. You can check that out if you want. It's totally free. Give my video a thumbs up if this was helpful, please. That way I'll know if this was helpful, and I'll know to keep making some more content for you. Also, subscribe, and then you'll get more videos every day. I don't want you to miss anything. So, guys, thank you for joining me. Good luck on your GED test practice.